Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Vivo Smart 4 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this smart band with an iPhone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your smart band and you can do it by plugging it to a charger. Once you plug it to a charger, it should turn on automatically. And after it turns on, you may see the hello message on the screen. Once you see it, you can tap on the screen and then you will see the list of languages on the screen. And once you see the list of languages on the screen, you can scroll through it by swiping up and down. You can select the language you would like to use on your smart band and then tap on it to confirm. Okay, and once you see searching on the screen of the smart band, that means we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on our phone, or rather on our iPhone. So, uh, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the App Store on your iPhone. In the App Store, tap on search, tap on the search bar and type in uh, Garmin Connect. You should see this application on the list. Tap on the app to select it, then tap on the get button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, you may see a couple of pop-ups about permissions, for example, Bluetooth permission. This one is uh, required, so I recommend to tap on OK. And once you're done with the permissions, you will see the login page. And as you can see, we can create an account or sign in. If you don't have an account, tap on create account and make a new one. If you have an account, tap on sign in, check the box and then tap on next. Now I'm gonna enter the email address and password. So give me a couple of seconds. After you log in, you may see a couple of pop-ups about permissions. As you can see, this one is about the notifications. So if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your smart band, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. I'm just gonna allow it. And then you will see this page. Basically, the app will detect your smart band. It should detect it automatically. If it doesn't, you can uh, press on the uh, touch sensitive button to go back to the list of languages, select the language, again and re-enter the pairing mode and the app should detect the band. And once it does, tap on the connected, enter the code from your smart band on your iPhone, like that, then tap on pair. Allow or deny the permission for the notifications. Tap on next. Set up the bedtime. Basically, you can set uh, on what time you go, go to bed and what time you wake up. And this is useful if you want to use the uh, do not disturb mode during sleep. Basically, mute all the notifications and stuff like that while you're sleeping. And to set it up, tap on the uh, frame uh, below the bedtime. Adjust it to your liking. Then tap on the wake time. Adjust it to your liking then tap on next and tap on yes if you want to turn on the do not disturb mode during sleep or no to, to keep it disabled. Here we can select the preferred wrist on which we will, we're gonna wear the smart band and here we can select the preferred watch face. Now we can set up some goals like steps, uh, I believe the amounts of floors walked and stuff like that. If you want to edit the goals, tap on edit my goals now. If you want to skip, tap on skip. I'm just gonna tap on edit my goals and I'm gonna show you what you can change. You can change the uh, amount of steps taken by tapping on the uh, frame or the box rather and adjusting it. You can tap on the floors climbed. You can adjust the uh, fluid consumption. You can tap on custom and adjust it if you want to. And then we have the intensity per week. And once you're done, you can tap on next. Here we can allow the permission for the location. This is useful if you want to track your uh, activities on the map, something like running, cycling and stuff like that. If you want to, tap on allow. If you care, I don't care, rather tap on skip. Next, we have the calendar access. You can allow the permission uh, for the calendar or you can deny it. If you want to, 
access the calendar or see the notifications about events on your smartband, you need to allow the notification or other calendar access. If you don't care, you can uh, deny it. And once you're done with the permissions, you can tap on sync now, tap on finish. Here we can see the tutorial how to use the smartband by tapping on next. And once you're done, tap on finish. And you may see this pop up too. Basically here we can allow the uh, access to write and read some of the features or rather some of the functions for the app. So you can allow to write the heart rate, uh, flights climbed and stuff like that. So if you want to use, for example, the heart rate feature, it's recommended to allow the permission. And if you want to use any of these features like sleep and stuff like that, you can allow them by uh, t turning it on with the switch and then tapping on allow. If you don't want to or don't care, you can keep them, deny them, deny them by tapping on don't allow. I'm just gonna tap on turn on all and allow, but you can uh, adjust it to your liking. Next we have the emergency contact setup. This is useful if you want to have the emergency uh, function set up on your smartband. So I don't believe this smartband has this fun function, but some of them have the, for example, uh, fall detection and stuff like that. So if you fall, it will call for help. Mm, but this one, I don't believe it has it. So I'm just gonna tap on dismiss, but you can set it up if you want. And now we have the My Day page of the app. On it, you should see the icon for your smartband. And you can tap on this icon to enter the device page, or you can simply tap on uh, more Garmin devices and you will see your Vivo Smart 4 on the list of devices. You can tap on it to open the device page. Okay, and that's how you pair this smart band with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.